Hi guys and welcome to my 52 weeks of personal growth videos. This is week 28 and this week is from the 9th to the 15th of July and this week was the most productive week I have had all year probably. Ever since I made my very strict routine, which if you saw last week's personal growth video, you'll know what I'm talking about. I really followed it every single day more or less, like most things on it. And I've just been so productive. I've gotten so much done. I've been so busy and I just feel so good. I didn't do everything on there because my life is very busy, but I did really try to. I did exercise most days. I had set it up so I do exercise every second day, but I went on some little adventures and stuff, so I ended up doing more anyways, but that's only a good thing. Um, I had on my routine to meditate every day. Can't say I did that in all honesty. However, I had um, orange juice and ginger shots every single day. I ate quite healthy. I meal prepped. I baked. Um, I filmed videos. I saw friends. I got alone time a little bit. Not really, actually, but I don't know. It was a really, really good week, and I'm so, I just feel so good. I'm going to stick to this routine and hopefully slowly really follow it in more detail um, because, yeah, I didn't do everything on there. But in saying that, I didn't, so I didn't meditate every day, but I have booked a meditation course, which I'm so excited about. So that's really good. Anyways, on Monday, I had a really nice day and I got a lot done and I had amazing dinner with my grandparents. It was so much fun and just so nice. And we just laughed a lot. So I really enjoyed that. And Tuesday, I accomplished so much as well. And I worked every day as well, by the way. Wednesday I worked and then two of my friends came over for a movie night. We made dinner and we watched The Greatest Showman, which is one of my favourite movies. And we just had a lot of fun talking and laughing. Thursday, um, I just wrote that I felt really good after a run even though I didn't feel like it. And it was a very busy day. Cannot remember what I did. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, so it was just, yeah, really busy day. Um, Friday... I woke up at five something in the morning and I went on a little adventure with someone. We went to a really pretty and like isolated beach. It was quite a long drive away. So worth it. And we just had breakfast there together and explored a bit. And it was so, so, so beautiful. I loved it. And I just, I just sat there for a while and just listened to the ocean. I think it's like the most therapeutic sound ever. The beach is honestly my happy place. I love the beach so much no matter what time of year it is. So it was so cool to experience something new and different and cooking dinner on the beach, oh not dinner, cooking breakfast on the beach was so cool. Like lighting a fire and it was just really magical to be honest. So that was like such a great start to my day and I realised how much you can really accomplish if you wake up early and make the most of your day because Nine times out of ten, I start work at 12. And I've always said to people, that really ruins my day because it's right in the middle of the day so I can't really do anything before or after, blah, blah, blah. But you really can. I managed to go on like a four to five hour like adventure before work. And then I just, and then I did a 10 hour work shift after that. Like I made so much out of my day by waking up early. I could not do that every day though. But as in waking up at 5.30. But it was really worth it and I, I could do it a few times a week, that's for sure. So that was really, really cool. And Saturday, I went to the Pink concert. She is the most amazing person ever. She's so cool. I've obviously listened to her music before and, like, know the words to a lot of her songs. But I never really followed her. I don't follow many famous people at all, to be honest. So I'm just not that interested. But she's so damn cool. I'm like obsessed with her now. I really, I know a lot of people probably say this, but I really connected to her music. I put all the my favourite songs of hers on my playlist. I'll leave a link below. Not that it really matters. But yeah, just some songs really connected with me. She's just so cool. And like down to earth and funny and happy. And her kids are so cute. And yeah, I don't know. The concert was mind-blowing. It was amazing. Like, I feel like... 
I've seen the best of the best. Now, any other concert I go to just won't be as good. But, yeah, wow, she was so cool. I, I loved it. And everyone I went with loved it as well. So, yeah, we had so much fun. I just, I can't get over it. I just keep watching all the videos that I filmed because she's just so cool. Anyways, Sunday I had work and I did really well with sales again, which I'm really happy, like better than the week before. And then later on I had a dinner with my some of my work friends and we just had a barbecue and like a cheese platter and we had a few drinks and played lots of board games and it's something we're now going to do on a regular basis, like maybe every second week or something. And then after that, I probably finished there at about midnight. And then I think, yeah. And then after that, I drove my friend home. Then went to my other friend's house because they were all having fun and stuff. And I got there. We watched Harry Potter and drank tea. And then I literally passed out at her house. So <laughs> like, oh God, I was so tired. That's the only thing that I haven't really been following on my new routine is going to bed early. Honestly have gone to bed at at least 1am every single night which is so bad and last night I went to bed at 3am so I'm so tired and I have another very long shift today so that is not good um I've just been really busy and I feel like I'm really productive at night time that's when I get a lot done like and because I am working like sometimes 10 hour shifts I'm doing that a lot lately I can I need to get other things done like edit videos or just all these things and I just can only do that at night time also my last video I posted was a vlog about getting my life together and I received a lot of really nice feedback like in person like people at my work said like I really enjoyed that video and like friends messaged me but I also got some really really nice comments and I thought maybe I should start reading out comments in these videos that I've really appreciated because it honestly means a lot to me um, but I'll read out what one person said to, um, on my last video he was like I haven't watched your videos in a while but I do find it very fascinating how you're very centered on your goals and doing things you know will be of benefit it's so cool that you're documenting this for reflection perhaps you will view the world differently after this journey you're on really looking forward to your analysis after the year I think he's talking about these 52 weeks of personal growth videos because at the end I will reflect on the whole year which is the whole point of these videos but I thought that was really nice because first of all he was really honest about the fact that he hasn't been watching my videos lately before he used to comment like every single week and then so many other people just said, like, you're so motivated and strong. I love your content. Um, so proud of how far you've come. Such an inspiration, all that. I thought that was so, so nice. I really, really do appreciate that. So thank you for whoever likes and comments on my videos or messages me or tells me that person. I really like it. It motivates me to keep making videos. Um, from listening to people's feedback, I think I'm going to try and vlog more. But I tend to only vlog when I'm free and not doing anything so then the content's like like that previous vlog it's just like me doing chores like cooking and shopping and cleaning and filming and all of that sort of stuff because when I'm doing things I like to be in the moment I'm so busy that I forget to film the only time I really filmed vlogs when I was busy was when I was traveling Europe and I really wanted to document that and to this day they're still some of my favourite videos so I'm glad I did that but most of the time when I'm busy I don't like vlogging because it's a lot of work um, but I mean maybe I'll try to but I mean if people like these vlogs where I'm just sort of you know getting my life together and stuff then I'm happy just to do that but yeah I've been loving filming and moving out of home has been so good for me like so good I haven't been here that long but it's really changing me. I was actually talking to my friend in the car yesterday and I was saying, I don't know why, but for some reason in the last two months, I have just like lost so much like anxiety and like I'm so much more confident now. Like I was literally telling her like a few months ago, I wouldn't have driven you home because I would have been so petrified of having someone in my car because I used to freak out having to drive other people because I wasn't confident as a driver and now like I didn't care at all like I was just doing my own thing and I was just saying to her like I do not know what 
has changed in me that has allowed me to like be comfortable with this but it has so I'm just I'm feeling really happy and proud because I'm just feeling like I have no like anxiety or like worry or doubt or fear in me anymore like that's just gone I think that's so cool so yeah I I just feel really really good and it probably has nothing to do with moving out but moving out has been so good for me because I'm just independent I'm doing my own thing like when I want um, I've, I practically live alone. I haven't seen my roommate in like seven days now, literally, not even kidding. She's so lovely, but she's never home. I think she's like pretty much living at her friend's. So, which I mean, I don't mind because ideally I would love to have my own place. And I feel like I do. The only difference is that I'm not paying for it all. <laughs> only a part of it. So yeah, I literally live alone and it's so good. Um, and I'm just, I just love cooking. I never was a baking, cooking person. And I'm not any, like I'm not great at it by at all means. But I'm really enjoying it. And I'm planning on getting better. So like practice makes perfect. And um, I'm eating healthy. Although I'm not going to say I eat healthy all the time. Because I really don't. Like I don't. Oh and something else I really wanted to mention. is I'm the oldest sibling in my family. And I don't know why I thought of it this in the last week but I need to be careful with all of my actions because my siblings they won't admit it but they really do look up to me like they copy a lot of what I do even my brother like they will not admit this but they do um like it will be the most random things like I remember um when I lived in Denmark with them my like I um, talked about veganism even though I'm not vegan and I talked about like how milk's so unhealthy for you so I only drank almond milk and then shortly after that now my brother only drinks almond milk like it's like little things like that that I, I influence on them and I noticed a lot in the last week like my sister was messaging me constantly like um, in terms of losing weight and being healthy like asking for advice like because she wants to look exactly like me, which is so not a good mindset to have. And I had a chat to her about that. But, so I just have to be careful with all my actions because, you know, when you have younger siblings, they they copy what you do. They look up to you, like, whether you like it or not. So, um, yeah, like, I need to make sure that I'm living a positive life and doing good things for me because... I want, like, if my sister is going to take after me, I want her to do good things as well. And I was just trying to explain that to her. So, um, yeah, it's kind of interesting. And what else did I want to say? Um, another thing is I really, I don't know, I love social media like I really do because it's a little it's a great way to like look back on all my favorite memories and um share things with my friends and family but sometimes i just want to delete not the accounts but all the apps and just have a huge detox like i just want to be away from it but my problem is is that like i really care about my youtube channel and i'm trying to grow it and in order to do that i do need to be active on my social media and post things and i can't just post like promoting my youtube channel i have to post other things too otherwise it's kind of boring so i feel like even if i wanted to detox from social media i can't because then i'm not growing my channel so that's why i post a fair bit on social media and also part of my job is managing like i manage four social media accounts for work so i literally can't delete social media even if i wanted to but um I mean, I like it, I don't hate it, but I would like to eventually not be on it as much. But right now, YouTube's like a huge priority of mine. So it's important that I do stay active and do that. But it is nice to just get away. Like, just maybe I should just turn off my phone sometimes and just enjoy the moment because I don't like being so glued to my phone. I'm not as much as I used to be, but still, I still am. But... Yeah, that's all I have to say. I really have to go now. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much, and I genuinely mean that. I'm feeling amazing. I'm, I've got a very, very busy week coming up. I'm so tired. I'm lacking so much sleep right now. 
but I'm feeling good and I think everyone should make a dream routine because it's really been working for me. Um, it's really been working for me in the last week. I've most productive week yet out of all 28 weeks. This has been the most productive. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!